the question of what is smartcricket.com smartcricket.com is actually a movement which we started in 2016 uh, we did a big experiment in 2017 during the champions trophy and now we are ready with the first product and we are also ready with a proper road map of what we are trying to do shot timing 98 follow through angle 250 degrees the little red thing that is on the that makes up all the valuable data we we did rigorous testing we have tested close to 50000 shots by now and we have a lab in santa clara in us and we have a lab in in bangalore Does it affect in how you hold the bat? Not at all, because you never hold the bat where it actually is. You actually hold it slightly lower. If anything, actually, it gives you a little bit of a counterbalance. You see, modern cricketers put a bit of tape around the top of their bat to give them a bit of cut counterbalance so that your bat, your hands fit in nice and snugly there. That's already done with this little bit of technology. It's a bit of technology there that basically picks up various things on the bat. So, for example, bat angle. someone like Hashim Amla with his big twirly bat that he has at the top there a little bit like the Jim Fury golf swing he will have a big back angle someone like MS Dhoni when he Dhoni when he goes to play the helicopter shot he is going to have a big bat angle maybe someone slightly lower to the ground who am i thinking uh some of the england batsmen maybe start a little bit lower jason roy people like that have a lower back angle there's the one of the 6 71 to uh, quite a few back thing it picks up is back speed the amount of times we have done master classes talking to virat kohli or um ab de villiers about back speed what does that actually mean it's all well and good saying we well, you got fast hands but how do you measure that back speed so someone like me a boring batsman used to have very low back speed that's why the ball didn't go anywhere but some of these guys you think kohli kohli when he plays the seamer actually plays with firm wrists and doesn't create much back speed But when Kohli plays against the spinners, Kohli really generates a lot of wrist and bat speed through the ball. So what we've been able to do is actually quantify that. So maybe with Kohli against the seamers, his bat speed is good. Kohli against the spinners, his bat speed is absolutely phenomenal. But it's not just bat speed. You could have the most brilliant bat speed, but if it doesn't get there in the right time, then the ball doesn't go very well. So you also need the timing of the bat speed and this sensor picks up exactly when the time is and hence how far the ball will go how much impact it has on that cricket ball so from this little bit of technology in the bat we are picking up a whole different um, bits of information about how good batsmen are and how well they hit a cricket ball the bat sensors it in many different ways and tell us how well a batsman times the ball and the measurement that we're using is the speed you can seamlessly sync your bat sensor and start using the bat sensor with the same app when we launch the shoe sensor and the ball sensor the same app will seamlessly sync all the sensors and give you all the data with all sensors synced in time together this is a revolution which is going to unfold and it will change the way training has been done so far at this point of time while i am speaking training is more a gut feel of a coach now we'll convert in into real data